Well, you know, look, nobody grows up wanting to be a car salesperson, then we become car salespeople. I was going to do it for six weeks, 45 years ago. Why'd you become a car salesman? Uh, I was in the restaurant industry, you know, I had a daughter on the way. I decided that I need to get into something with benefits, something better paying, and I just happened to know somebody who worked at the Nissan dealership who's a mechanic, and he told me to give it a shot. Okay. So it was, Why'd you get into car business? Um, I'd say by accident, but on purpose at the same time. Um, I was in the nightlife industry, and I had a bunch of uh, car salesmen and managers always coming out seeing me, buying stuff for me. Like bottles and stuff. And uh, I remember they said, you can convince me to spend tons bottles of... Bottles of what? Liquor. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I was in the club industry, and uh, they said, okay. you just cons uh, convinced me to spend three grand when I said I was going to spend 200. You should you should sell cars. And okay, good. Business card, and well, we're here four years later almost. All right, good for you. Um, <laughs> look, I, I mentioned this earlier, and it is an easy job to get. Okay, if you've not committed a felony in the last six weeks and you're drug free that day, you too <laughs> can become a car salesman. I, you know, I, I was a bartender, so I came out of the uh, restaurant restaurant industry. Um, but here's what I've learned over the last 45 years. I wish I'd known this when I got into car selling. Uh, the training pretty much sucks. Okay, and that's not here. That's everywhere I go, all right? Some dealerships make a little bit better effort than others, but for the most part, the salespeople I have witnessed succeed spectacularly, and the BDC people I have seen succeed spectacularly over the years, have learned that they need to train themselves, okay? Um, I started training myself probably 32 years ago, which meant I'd been in the business like 12 or 13 before I learned that depending on other people to train me wasn't going to get the job done. Um, I started looking for sales training on YouTube, quite frankly, and I wasn't looking necessarily for automotive sales training. I was looking for um, some of the best sales training in the world is insurance because, you know, Selling me a car where my car payment's $742 a month isn't very hard relative to a life insurance policy that is $742 a month. A car I can use every single day. It smells good. It shines up. It's got cool stuff on it. A life insurance policy will never do me any good. It might do my beneficiaries some good, but it's not going to do me any good. So insurance people are some of the best trained salespeople in our society. So I started studying insurance training. And then I was looking for generalized sales training. And um, I found some decent automotive sales trainers, but most of them were stuck in the 1970s. <clears throat> now it's a little bit different. Okay, I'm on YouTube. Yeah, I've got 2,000 videos on YouTube. All right, I've been watched 15 million times, but there's other good ones out there too. Jonathan Dawson, a uh, young guy, has got some terrific, terrific uh, sales training on YouTube, okay? No charge. Andy Elliott's a little bit different, uh, but, uh, but he's, got, he's got some good concepts, okay? He's intense. Um, he, uh, intense is putting it mild. <laughs> um, I wouldn't try to emulate his behaviors, but some of his concepts and strategies are, are very good. Uh, Grant Cardone used to have some very good stuff. Okay, he's more into the real estate world now. But you need to train yourselves. Okay, I mean, have you got good managers? Yes, Charles and Roger and Mitch and Dustin and Ray are all good managers, make no mistake about that. But there's only so much time for them to train. Okay, they've got uh, very complicated jobs. I mean, from ordering vehicles, pricing vehicles, managing you wild people. Um, so there's not much time left for them to train. So train yourselves uh, and never stop because the business is changing. I mean, it's, uh, you can't imagine the changes that I've seen in 45 years. I can't imagine hardly the changes I've seen in the last three or four years. Okay, and it's going to continue to change. The telephone 